Hi, my name is Del Warren. I'm the Vice President of the Kegel Training Center, and I'm here with Ron Hicklin Jr., who's the ball design engineer for all the Ebonite brands at Ebonite International. And we're here at their test center in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, talking about a, a kind of a new subject called topography. And uh, a long time ago, John Davis, our founder here at Kegel, talked about uh, that he felt like topography played a big issue in the overall ball motion, and that's one of the reasons why he built the Kegel Training Center, which actually has the ability uh, because of its unique foundation to change the topography every square foot of the lane. So after about a five-year study, uh, we realized that, that the topography of the lane plays a huge role in the overall ball motion, far more than the oil pattern. Um, and uh, it was really new for me. I, I was part of that study. Um, and I, I was amazed that uh, you could actually dress two lanes exactly the same and have completely different ball motion. So from that information, we designed a product that allows us to go into any bowling center, evaluate the lanes using a lane mapper, and flatten the lanes out so that uh, literally it's almost completely flat from the foul line to the pin deck. And so uh, with our uh, relationship with Ebonite, they built this uh, particular facility. Um, you guys do have a, a Kegel lane machine. And we came in and we evaluated with a lane mapper and we showed them that they had some issues, topography, and that we could actually make it better. And, so um, I know that you had done some testing prior to us coming in and flattening the lane. And uh, so how about telling everybody um, a little bit about uh, what it did to your facility and maybe how it made your job a little bit easier? Well, Dell, it's interesting because uh, I didn't know how important topography really was. Uh, we test about 2,000 balls here uh, in our testing facility a year. And one of the things that we always found kind of interesting was uh, when we're bowling, especially uh, test balls, you have to have a very controlled environment. You have to have a very repeatable lane machine, a very flat lane pattern, a very uh, flat lane uh, lane itself. And we were amazed at how out of whack our lanes really were. Um, when you guys came in and did the lane map and you showed it to us, and we were like, wow, we are really, really out of whack here. And it's interesting because some of the test bowlers would note that, hey, you know, when I'm throwing my bowling ball, when I get outside of five, it looks like my bowling ball falls off a cliff. And we're like, but there's no oil out there, so how's it falling off a cliff? Well, sure enough, when we got that lane map back and it said, you know what, your lane's kind of sloping this way, over in this area, it made perfect sense. So one of the things that we did, once you guys came in and flattened our lanes, we retested some of the bowling balls that we had tested in the past. And it was amazing to see the difference in performance. Wow. So it's very, very crucial, very critical to make sure that you have flat lanes. And we didn't even understand that ourselves, especially having a new installation like we had had. It was very important for us to learn, you know what, once you get a very flat lane, you can get a true read on the bowling ball. So it was very crucial and very um, neat to learn that fact. And because we've got two different lane surfaces, uh, we actually use um, two different patterns now as a result of learning about how having a flat topography can affect your performance on bowling balls. So uh, were you able to see uh, bigger differences in the two different lane surfaces? I know that you have a, a product here from AMF and a product from Brunswick. Did that actually make it more different uh, when you actually flatten the lane? Yeah, it did actually. It was kind of interesting too because, um, you know, it, it's we're, everybody knows that the AMF product that we've got tends to be a higher friction than the Brunswick, but yet I would tell you some of our ball tests weren't indicating that and we couldn't understand why. Interesting. Once the lanes were made flat, it was very obvious. Well, I know it was uh, eye-opening for me to be a part of that and uh, as, a, as a bowler I know that uh, at times in my career I've blamed uh, you know, the lane man and, and the oil in the lane for uh, when you move from pair to pair the lanes being different, but it, it clearly through our uh, mapping lanes all over the world and really studying this is clearly a topography issue. And uh, it's all about fairness, and uh, in, in your case, it's, um, it's, uh, I'm sure it's incredibly important that you have an environment that actually distinguishes different products. So uh, we're very happy that, uh, that uh, we've able, we're able to bring this to life to the industry, and we've actually got bowling centers now that are actually flattening their lanes and seeing much more consistent scores, much more consistent moves from pair to pair. And it, and it takes a lot of the confusion out if you're a bowler and you're, you're trying to adjust to the lanes, the moves are much easier and simpler. So we're really happy that we could actually uh, help you guys do your job better. And it's been uh, fun learning along with you guys. We appreciate it, Bill. Thanks a lot.